In this tutorial, we'll add the feedback slides for the question one uh, slide, the question. So we're going to actually provide the visual feedback slides for the incorrect and the correct choices. So we'll go ahead and create a new slide layer. And I'll call this one Q1 correct. And so we need to apply that other layout that we created, the one with the green borders. So we just choose layout and correct. And it's all set up. We set that placeholder text for us right there. We can quickly add that and create a new layer. And we'll call this one Q1 incorrect. Okay. Apply the incorrect layout. And we're all set up right here. I'm gonna copy my continue button. So grab that, control C, jump back over here, paste it in place. Control C to copy it, and then I'll just paste it right there. And what we're gonna do with this one is just hide the layer. So change state of, actually, nope, hide layer, this layer when I click. And then I'm just gonna copy this trigger, jump back down here to Q1 correct, select my button, and then I can paste that same trigger right there. I don't have to go through the process. So it saves me a couple steps. All right, at this point, that's pretty much all we can do for the, the feedback layers. They're already set up. I'm gonna jump back down to my Q1 and continue adding some additional triggers to my submit button. Because I wanna know, based on the choice you make, the learner makes, do I send them to the correct slide or the incorrect? Well, I know that since I set up with button sets here, since it has a selected state, I can evaluate which of these objects is selected and then make the uh, submit button show me the appropriate layer. So what I want to have happen is when you click the submit button, I want you to show me, show me layer. And in this case, let's start with the correct choice. So I'm going to say, show me the correct layer. When I click, when the user clicks the button submit with the condition, right? So we want to have to have a condition. If one of the shapes, and that would be the button correct, is equal to selected. Right, So we have a selected state. When we click the Submit button, we're gonna to check to see which one of these is selected. So that's all we need to do here. And we say, okay. So user click Submit, show me that layer, click okay. Now I also want to show me the incorrect, right? Show layer incorrect when user clicks Submit if now the easiest way around this is we don't have to create a trigger or a condition for each one of these three buttons. What do we say? We can say if the button correct is not equal to selected. It just saves us a few steps because if this isn't selected, then one of these three has to be selected, right? So that makes it really easy uh, for us. So we click OK and click OK. So let's go ahead and just test this one real quick. So preview the slide. And we'll jump down to the button. Here's our first question. Nothing's gonna happen. You see how the, let me refresh this real quick. You see how the submit button was disabled, right? Can't click the submit button at all until one of these is selected. There it is. Doesn't matter which one I select. Now I should see a red feedback. And there we go. Let's try it one more time and select the correct one. And perfect. All right. So we know this part is all working correctly. In the next tutorial, we'll add one more series of triggers to change the button marker, the, the game piece down here, to red or green based on the choice the learner makes. But we'll do that in the next tutorial.